Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful and festive time. And Merry Christmas to you all, by the way. As the end of the year is approaching, it's always nice to look back at the art you've made throughout the year. So today I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be looking at my art I've made in 2022 and also in 2021. Because actually I started drawing two years ago, exactly two years ago. It was around Christmas time, like 20, the end of 2020. We're going to scroll all the way back to the first post that I have ever made on Instagram. And we're going to see all the artworks I posted and how my skills and style improved. And I'm going to give you some tips along the way. Anyway, I hope this video inspires you and you feel motivated to create a lot of nice art in 2023. So let's get into it. So let's get into it. I scrolled all the way back to my first ever artwork that I posted. Uh, you can see here that it was posted on May 16th, 2021. But as I've said before, I started drawing in at the end of 2020. It's Christmas time. That's when I created my art account, actually. So that wasn't drawn in May. Uh, that was the first tutorial I've ever done on YouTube. Uh, it was Bordeaux brush tutorial. Uh, yeah, so you can see that I've chosen to draw a pizza as my first drawing. Uh, it was really cool. I like I was so happy to have an iPad and Apple Pencil and do all these tutorials. So that was many of those that I've done. I was I remember I was super excited about each one of them. And I remember this time very fondly. Uh, then I also I've taken a few Skillshare classes, uh, for example, from Eva Mikkels, Art Side of Life. Uh, I was trying out everything I could, YouTube, Skillshare. Uh, I've traced a few photos to create an artwork like that, for example. And this was the first uh, Draw This In Your Style I've drawn. I mean, not my Draw This In Your Style, but it was somebody else's. It was also in uh, December or January, so I didn't post the other artwork, the original one. And uh, so that was basically my one of the first character designs I've made. Actually, this one was the first Draw This In Your Style. So you can see uh, it was two around approximately two years ago. I kept on drawing from YouTube tutorials, Skillshare classes, for example, some classes by Tom Froze were amazing. Uh, I completed a few of them. I didn't have my own style or color palette yet, so it was a time of just drawing and exploring and I didn't know any art theory uh, back then. I mean, I have never studied it. Actually, I've just done many tutorials and that's how I learned about lights and shadows and uh, basic art principles. But back then uh, I was just doing some classes and not thinking about art theory per se. Yeah, so that's again doing tutorials, some uh, recreating somebody else's artwork. Uh, I think in the beginning it's very helpful because you learn while you are recreating, you learn a lot. Um, yeah. So you can see I didn't draw a lot of characters in the beginning, so just some of them. It was also draw this in your style, another one. Um, Tom Frost class and actually when I started to get into drawing characters was during the Facetober. Uh, it's hosted by Charlie Clements on Instagram every October. It, like there is this original Inktober uh, but this is one variation of it, Facetober. So basically you draw faces every day of October and that's what I did. Uh, I got into this challenge with the mindset of improving my skills and 
pushing, like in general, first of all, trying to draw characters and then to, to improve my skills. Uh, yeah, that was one of the draw this in your style before the face tober. And that was my first face tober entry. It was jungle, wavy hair and tattoo. Uh, and then I drew every single day, I drew a character. Uh, I didn't study anything about characters back then. So it was just basically wi winning it. It's, mm, I didn't know anything about proportion, stylization, how to draw hair, uh, anything. So <laughs> I was just drawing something. I tried uh, different styles basically different techniques of drawing hair eyes um i tried to stylize the characters but here i can see that i couldn't draw like clothes properly and uh, shadows noses um yeah for a beginner it's it's a good artwork of course it was like uh less than one year into starting to draw so actually that's pretty good i think uh, back then i was proud of these artworks and i was improving every day i think um i can see here that i didn't know anything about colors <laughs> back then i used some color palettes that i found online or that other artists shared so i was just using them as they were Nowadays I don't do that. I don't use the, like ready-made color palettes. Usually I I can base my artwork on one, but I don't actually just use the colors from the color palette. I can deviate from the color palette or just take one or two colors and then choose some other ones by myself. So I'm much more flexible with my color choices these days. And I feel much more comfortable and confident in using colors. So nowadays I'm much more flexible with choosing colors. Um, but yeah, so that were, those are my artworks that I made during Facetober. Uh, I think I definitely improved, uh, but my characters were still quite basic. So you could, you can see that they lack a lot of, they lack dimension, shadows, noses of course that can be a style choice to draw a nose like that but back then it was because i i didn't know how to draw any other way <laughs> yeah so you can see like this this is the end of face tober and the beginning of it i think there is definitely some improvement here uh next I think I was really tired of drawing characters, so I just drew some autumn stuff, Halloween stuff. Uh, again, sometimes doing tutorials or just trying to draw from a reference photo. For example, here I drew it from a reference picture. Uh, then I've done a few draw this in your styles, so that was already after completing the face tober i think my skills improved and the use of color as well uh yeah i think that's not bad like these artworks are not bad uh of course i really like my i'm i like my current artworks much more than this but it's decent i would say and then I've taken a course that completely changed my art journey, my understanding of, of light and shadows. And that was a class about lighting by Evelyn Stockhart. I will link it in the description. I think from what I've seen on Instagram, like every single artist have ta has taken this course. But if you haven't taken it yet, I absolutely recommend it. It was a game changer for me and my art. I literally learned everything about lights and shadows from this course. <laughs> Before I was just drawing, like for example, like this character here. 
that's by the way that's the basic colors and then this is a version with colors and shadows so before i would just apply a shadow to the whole character like that you know like the without separating the ears the face uh the hand the arm sorry um uh, but this time i finally learned that like every single element has a shadow and light it hits different elements differently well i will not get into the de details here but that like improved my art skills 100 percent i think uh, taking this course i mean i will show you the artwork the next artwork i made uh following this course as well uh that was that's still one of my favorite artworks uh yeah so that was my 2021 uh some summary of my artworks from 2021 and then like some christmas artwork they were also tutorials that i've i've completed uh draw this in your style so here i also started using more shadows and lights but still not to the fullest extent um yeah so this is the artwork i was talking about also after completing evelyn stock arts course i experimented more and created this post uh podcast cover for my boyfriend i decided to make it so that was the picture and i've made it in different light scenarios like uh overcast day night scene and sunset scene i really loved this artwork i loved it back then and i still do i think that was like my first artwork that i really liked and after that i started to draw in this style more and more i started applying um i started applying these lights and shadows in a better way so i think my artwork definitely went to the next level after this course uh and then i created the same thing with myself so i drew myself for the first time with this uh, sunset light scenario um yeah so that was my first self-portrait now i have a different one that is on my avatar everywhere but that was i was really proud of this one so of course it's not like now i draw much more sh more shadows more dimension uh but back then that was amazing so it was in yeah it was january the 8th and then i I was experimenting with the character design but then I got into drawing food because it was the beginning of the year 2022 2022 or 2021 yeah sorry 2022 of course I found out about a Bordeaux brush challenge which is making art every day and I decided to give it a try so I started drawing uh, following the prompts every day at the first month it was uh all about food so fruits veggies then some other stuff uh but yeah i was experimenting with textures stylization and simple shapes so that was what i was doing this is one of the character designs i've done in january uh still not close to what I'm doing now, I think. So yeah, I basically, I was drawing some food and characters. Let's take a look at this character design. It was also one of the draw this in your style challenges and I think I started to improve uh, I started to add more shadows but yeah the hair is still pretty basic I was drawing more food and then I got into drawing characters again so because i had some stages i was like okay i don't want to draw characters i'm gonna draw just objects and food uh 
and then like I got back to drawing characters. At this uh, stage, it was March this year. I started to I started to follow art different artists patreons and I find it amazing. I still follow a lot of them. Um, but that was I think also a game changer for my character design. I learned a lot from different artists how to draw face. I started to improve my character design skills definitely like it was March of this year. So you can see here that I started to draw uh, I started to learn how to draw faces much better. I managed to capture some likeness of Rachel from friends. Uh, I also improved how I drew how I draw shadows and hair. So that was also an artwork I was really happy with. And yeah, so basically then I was improving with lights and shadows, with characters' faces, expressions. Uh, for example, this one, you can already see how much I've improved from what I've shown you like a few months before. Uh, you can definitely see a dimension of the character. It's, it's not as flat as it used to be. And there is some expression, not just a face. So yeah, I think that's when it started going uphill for me, <laughs> so to say. And I think this was also one of the artworks that I was super happy with. Uh, it was a um, mermaid and a uh, draw this in your style. Uh, so that was when I was happy with everything about this artwork back then. Like uh, the face, expression, shadows, lights, background. Um, I was really, really proud of it. And I think it also b brought me quite a lot of followers. I, I still, I was, I wasn't even close to 1000 followers back then. It was in May. Uh, but yeah, I was really happy and uh, I still think it's a cool artwork. Probably I would draw the hair uh, differently now, but it's still a great artwork, I think. So yeah, I was drawing faces. I tried to sketch uh, faces quickly every day. You can see here I drew a sketch every day and I set a timer so always tracking how much how long it took me to draw and I tried to do it quickly and roughly so it, I think it helped me improve a lot another course that really helped me with my character design skills was on Domestica <coughs> it was Isabella Agosti's course uh, this is the artwork I just copied from her tutorials and this is the artwork I created by myself. I was also really happy with it because I learned a more organized process of applying lights and shadows. I started with basic colors, I learned how to apply different kinds of shadows and then lights and some details. So that was the the artwork from that course. From that moment on, I started to apply these principles to my characters. During that period, I, I was drawing characters almost all the time. Um, it was the main thing I drew and occasionally I drew something else, but mostly they were characters. So I was improving my skills with every drawing, I think. Uh, I think it was already July, so the middle of this year, I started to see more significant improvements in my characters. And then I've taken another course by Evelyn Stockhart again. This is the artwork that she was teaching during this course. I am in love with it. I think it also like her first course about lights and shadows is like a must. 
But if you want to learn more from her, I really recommend this course. It's called Cinematic Illustration. So that's when I learned even more about lights and shadows. Um, I absolutely love this artwork. And yeah, I have some other artworks I want to show you. So that was an expression study that I've done. Uh, I was also really happy with it because I managed to draw a sty stylized characters but with different facial expressions and emotions, which wasn't easy for me to do. And still, it's, it's still not easy, but uh, I'm, I feel more confident. And uh, this is my the first di Draw This In Your Style I've ever hosted. Uh, it was this August. Actually, I haven't even reached one. I, I hadn't even reached 1,000 followers yet. So that was even before that. I reached it, I think, a bit in, in September or something like that. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to host it, draw this in your style. So <laughs> nothing stopped me from it. And I think it was a really nice one. So yeah, that was my first ever project, um, client project, but it was for a charity organization, so I wasn't, I, I didn't get paid for it. But yeah, I illustrated a poem about an, um, the importance of saving water. It was a poem written by children, and then they uh, composed it into a book. So yeah, that was my illustration for it. And then, yeah, I was drawing a bunch of characters. I think this one is really nice. So that's, uh, I guess, it was it was in September. I guess I already reached my desired level of drawing characters. Of course, I'm still working on many things, and especially drawing bodies, drawing clothes. But I think that now I can say that I'm happy with my artworks. I like the colors that I use, I like uh, how I draw faces, hands as well, and um, hair. But I still want to improve drawing clothes, how I draw clothes. So that's what I'm working on. Basically nowadays I draw characters. Sometimes I draw some objects, but yeah, mostly it's characters. And I love drawing uh, some scenes with the background, lights and shadows. So yeah, this is already my current artworks. And this is my most recent artwork. It was a commission uh, picturing a scene from a book. And I love it so much. I think it represents everything I've learned this year. Actually, not only this year, but mostly this year, uh, about uh, like character. First of all, character design. Second of all, colors, uh, shadows, lights. How to make the illustration even better using different blending modes. So I think this is my best artwork ever. I really love it, and I hope to make more artworks like that next year and yeah i have another draw this in your style it was when i reached 3000 followers so if you want to participate go ahead i would be really happy but that is it guys you've probably seen my latest artworks if you followed me if you follow me on instagram and today i actually reached 4000 followers that's really cool thank you so much guys if you follow me on Instagram, of course. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed looking at my art journey. It was definitely a lot of fun for me. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I will answer all of them. And also, if you want to see some other videos about my art journey, how I started or which courses I took, definitely ask it in the comments. I will try to make a video like that for you. I really hope you enjoyed looking at my art journey and I think the main thing that I want to share with you guys is don't give up. I know it sounds cheesy and trivial but it's really 
what it takes to learn how to draw. And there is no secret, there is no formula for that. You just have to keep practicing and especially you have to push through the ugly stages of your work. Sometimes I start an artwork and it, there is always this ugly stage that when you don't like it, when it's not finished yet, but you just have to push through it. You have to make a lot of art. You have to make a lot of bad art and eventually you're going to be satisfied with the art you make. So I think that's my biggest advice. Just keep going, keep practicing, draw every day, every second that you have. I mean, of course, if it's really what you want to do. So I'm really happy that you're watching my videos. Thank you for watching my videos that I made this year. And I hope I will make a lot of cool and interesting content for you in 2023. Anyway, guys, thank you so much again. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.